What is going on, everybody? As Steam Witnesses of the Courtroom is the Croc. Now, I know it's kind of strange to have a tournament tutorial two days in a row. I do apologize for that, but today we're going to be covering something very pressing that I've had a bunch of questions about, and a lot of you I haven't been able to get back to because I changed Skype, so I apologize for that. Uh, I actually have a shared Skype with Lex now. Hmm. I had to get some Pepsi before I get started here. Now, please do understand the fact that uh, I do have a change Skype means I don't really do contact over Skype uh, as much as I once did. But I do definitely still check the uh, TS Vector Facebook page and the YouTube account. So if you have any problems, um, hopefully, 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 this will clear up all the questions, all the questions that I previously have gotten. Now, um... I had this working about 15 minutes ago, so I've got it down to dummy terms as far as as far as far I've got it down to the basic mumbo-jumbo of what everything is, how to install everything, everything that I'm going to use, everything that I'm going to do in this tutorial. Uh, I have several things that I'm going to go over, so what we're going to do is we're just going to literally restart with a clean slate. We're going to literally... Just start over, and also, uh, if you hear my daughter, she just uh, came home from her grandma, so uh, you might hear her. And today we're going to cover the ins and the outs. I am going to take this entire tutorial setting up Desmume, okay? This tutorial is not going to cover setting up Wi-Fi in the game. If you can't even get the Desmume Wi-Fi to work and set up, then uh, we're, 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 we're at a lost cause as far as there's no place you can go further than this right here. Okay, the very first thing I want to clear up, and, you know, I, I say it in every Desmume tutorial, but I want to say it one more time. If you do not have a wired connection, then um, we're just going to stop right here now. To, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my daughter's show came on for just a moment there. Now, I want to be clear about something. If you have a laptop and an Ethernet connection, you can create a wireless connection directly to your modem or router by disabling your wireless, but you want to make sure you disable your wireless temporarily because if you don't, it's going to continually somewhat pick up that wireless. But let's uh, jump into this tutorial and I'm going to cover everything. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please just stop, you know, and pause at any point and whatnot and uh, we'll go from there. So what's going to happen, very, very first thing, is uh, I've actually got everything extracted and what I'll end up doing I don't know if I'll even use anything in all the stuff. Let me... This right here... Now, this is the very, very first thing. I actually have WinCap 4.1.1. Now, I know I said in the tutorial you need 4.1.3. I really don't know which version WinCap is really a big deal. Um, the, the It's actually kind of funny. The fix for this is something that I once thought you didn't have to do, but now every time I've set this up lately, I've had to do it. So... Let's start by, uh, uh, I don't know if you guys know, I use WinRAR, and what you can do with WinRAR is you can right-click and extract each to separate folder, and what you'll get is this right here. Uh, very, very first thing you want to do, the reason I'm using 9.9, .9, it's the closest thing to the actual DS as far as um, speed-wise, so it's going to keep your everything very, very consistent. Okay, here's the very first thing we're going to do, is we're going to open the Desmume 9.9, .9, and the very first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to go down to your emulation settings. Now, I've already got all this set, but I am going to go over it in this tutorial right here. This right here, you want to make sure this is clicked, the Use External BIOS Image, the Use External Firmware Image, and the Enable Advanced Bunts Timing, and this. Just click everything that I've got clicked right here. And what you're going to do is this is your search paths. The only thing you're going to have to fix with my setup is your search paths and a couple other things, but we'll just go into it slowly. Uh, your search paths are very important. This is where what you what you do first is you in the Desmume Wi-Fi folder when you get it. These uh, things that are now in firmware will actually be right here, and you're going to want to move them to the firmware folder. Then when you go to search for those paths, you just click the corresponding ones. Of course, ARM9 corresponds to BIOS9. ARM7 corresponds to BIOS7, and then of course when you're searching for the firmware, it'll be right there. So you want to make sure you do this now. This is very, very important. If you're using 9.7, you can boot from the firmware like the NDS. For some reason, I can't get 9.9 .9 to do that and load Black 2 properly. You might you might not have any issues there, 
but I'm having a bunch of issues there, so I just decided to ignore that. The second thing you want to set up is your actual Wi-Fi, which, again, goes by your wired connection. Now, you might have to play around with this one step. If you have a laptop and you're going through a wired connection, you might have to use ad hoc. But for anybody with a wired connection directly into your modem like myself, infrastructure and your a network adapter. If you have any external networking programs, Hamachi, Komodo Unite, uh, log me in Hamachi, anything that's externally giving you a VPN, you need to disable it because yet again, just like your wireless, it's going to some somewhat pick it up and you're not going to get a full connection to your wired connection, which is what you need for this. When you click OK, everything will be uh, where you have to restart the ROM. Now, notice right here I have an NDS and an alt Wi-Fi um, NDS. It's very important to you. You're going to have a Wi-Fi patcher and that's actually going to be included in the all all the stuff folder, okay? And you're going to open this Wi-Fi patcher. Up, oh, I just I totally blipped. You need to install WinCap first. You need to install WinCap first. If you have WinCap, I don't care if it's 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, uninstall it and install this exact one that I installed. I I have several versions I'll include. Whichever one works for you is fantastic. Um, I don't mess with 9.7 now. What I did to make sure all of this works. I have connected in the last 30 minutes. I've set up 9.7 and 9.9 .9 with Pokemon Black 2. Okay, so you're going to have the Wi-Fi patcher here. All you do with the Wi-Fi patcher is you open it and you'll see it just like this and you'll drag whatever ROM. I'm not going to leave you a link to your ROM. That's, that's up for you. Uh, but this particular ROM is public. You drag the non-alt Wi-Fi one into it and it's going to bring up a command prompt. So... It'll bring up a command prompt. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it. And what you'll get is in the same folder that that ROM is in, you'll get this alt Wi-Fi NDS. Make sure that you let the command prompt finish. It's very, very important uh, to this. Now, the very, very first thing, I've had a bunch of questions about this too, and I actually uh, had a bunch of questions myself. Where is the Nintendo Wi-Fi configuration setting in Desmume, like like in the in the in the ROM. Okay, when you go to any 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 any, but Pokemon Black 2 is a perfect example. Um, you're gonna want to open that Alt Wi-Fi -Wi NDS. Now, don't except it decides to freak out when I'm commentating, but whatever. Um, okay, let it boot up here. There it goes. Exactly. Let me let me get it full screen for you guys. I don't know why it freaked out. My I don't know if I've mentioned before my processor is absolute ass tackle. So um. I don't know what ass tackle means. The reason it's running slow is because I am recording, but I do promise you that it does run very, very, very fast comparatively. Now, you see I have this save file here, which I'm also going to include, which is Tommy of the Lost Lauren Forest. Now, two things about the save file. The save files are actually stored as a DSV file under the battery folder in Desmume Wi-Fi right here. But when you import this as a backup save file, you'll go File, Import Backup Memory, Save, and you're going to want to reset it twice to get to this screen. The next thing we want to do is go into our... Exactly, Anna. Exactly. Exactly, baby girl. We want, we want to go into Nintendo Wi-Fi settings. This is about the most important step. If this is grayed out, if this is grayed out, you need to find... You really just need to tinker with it, with the save file and a couple other things. You've got to get to where you can erase this. The reason is any any black, two, white, two, heart, gold, soul, silver, pearl, platinum, whatever it is that you guys play... Um, for 4th and 5th gen, it stores the Wi-Fi settings in the save file in ROM, and you're going to want to erase those because that's got Nintendo written all over it. And as long as you have Nintendo settings, you're never going to be able to connect. So let's go ahead and erase all that, and it's normal because it's actually going to close. It's okay. It's totally normal. Let it close, blah, 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 and open it back up. It's probably going to freak out again just because I am recording. So let's open that back up real quickly. Now, as you've seen, I've already set all my emulation paths, I've set my Wi-Fi, I've done all that good stuff. Now, do not freak out. We are about to fail the connection. I'm giving you a spoiler alert. Now, remember, originally, when we did the Desmume Wi-Fi tutorial, the second or third one, we were able to connect with Wi-Fi right here. And you're right, we were able to connect with Wi-Fi right here before. You are correct. If you do not have blank all over the place right now, you need to stop. You should have blank, and this should be grayed out. Okay, so let's move on. 
By the way, everything should work exactly as I have in this tutorial based on everything that I give you. If not, please do message me immediately. All right, so let's go to connection one here. We're going to search for an access point. You're going to find soft app. Now, I have been working with it to try to get it on the actual emulator. Let's be clear. If you don't have the emulator, if you don't have the settings on your computer, you need a flash card. And I do not know how to set it up with the flash card because what I'm doing involves changing the firmware which I'm not sure how to do on an actual NDS. So you're going to connect into soft app right here. Spoiler alert. This is going to fail. Guarantee you it's going to fail. If it doesn't, now it used to, this used to not fail. Right here, this used to connect before Nintendo servers went down. But because Nintendo servers are down, it no longer can connect to Desmume Wi-Fi normally. You can also use your little command prompt that comes up, which you don't need to close with your Desmume Wi-Fi, which will actually keep you up to date um, how this thing works. Also, I've also had it hang. I've also had it hang and never go anywhere. Um, same case scenario applies. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to go to back. You're totally fine to keep that configuration. You want to go back right into these settings and you're going to go down to auto obtain DNS and click no. Now the website I provide to you and it's a public thing for the Polaris DWC network server emulator. You need to put in this DNS address. 104-131-9387. Okay? You need to put that in the primary and the secondary DNS. This is muy importante. Like, the most important thing you'll ever do in your life. No, not really, because it's Pokemon. So it's not the most important, but it's probably the third most important. Uh, 131-9387. Just give yourself a quick check. Make sure that works. Now, what I like to do is I like to actually save the settings. Spoiler alert! This is going to fail. But let's just try it anyway. It's going to fail, but let's try it anyway. It's going to fail. To be clear, you need to do this for every single game, I do believe, or console that you're going to play on. It actually connected that time. Now, what's funny about this... Oh, I know why it connected. I know why it connected. Because I've already replaced the firmware. But let me show you, if, if at that point it does not connect and try, try again, let's close the emulator down here, and all you have to do now is under the Sunfire Desmume tutorial, there's a DFC firmware replacement. Now what's kind of interesting is it doesn't go where you think it goes. It actually goes somewhere else. Let me, let me show you. What you're going to do is unzip that, and what it's going to have inside of it. Let's go ahead and unzip it, you know? Let's, 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 let's just do it. Let's just go through all the motions. Notice mine's already connected. You get the firmware D DFC. Sometimes, I've had two different scenarios. Sometimes this file will already be... Okay, let me, let me, let me simplify this. This window in front that has the firmware.dfc, sometimes that will not be there. So what I've actually done when it's not there, I copy a new one over, right? And then I'll delete the folder that it makes, right? And then I'll unzip another one. Again, let's just continue to go through the motions. And now what I've basically done, I'll end up have creating that firmware file, right? Then I'm going to drag and replace all. I'm not going to do it because it'll mess mine up because mine's already configured. So, after you've done that, and let's just assume that last time it did not connect. So let's go back into our settings and let's do it once again just to make sure we got all the nooks and crannies figured out. And connects better than 5th, but I don't know if you guys remember good old 5th gen aggravating Wi-Fi where you have to go into the room, you know, 8 or 9 times before you can get seen. You know, I really wish this worked on, it does work on a flash card, but you have to use WEP or no security, and I don't like no security. I've tried it on a hotspot or a open uh, no security network, and you have to actually disable all security from your router, and I'm just not comfortable with that. It also might have to be redone for every save file that you do. Once again, if you're grayed out, notice what's actually funny is now that I've connected, okay, now that I've connected to the Nintendo Wi-Fi, I can erase and start over. But that's not going to be the case. We're just going to click test connection. It should connect. We should be good gravy, baby. And swagatastic, it's in there. So, that is how you connect Desmume Wi-Fi, the fourth and final tutorial. If you have any questions, 
please feel free on the TS Vector Facebook page to contact me or contact me through YouTube. If you see me on Pokemon Showdown or Pokemon Online, I'll drop some names down below. I'm usually on those. Please hit me up. Or sometimes I'm on the Ryzen alternate Wi-Fi server uh, chat, which is on the bottom of this page right here. Under random nicknames, just ask if Vec is on, and I will I will reply to you if I am around. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for your time and patience. Happy 4th and 5th and Wi-Fi. One last big, 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 big thing. Desmume and Desmume have a little bit of trouble connecting. You guys can keep testing that. Uh, it's probably slowly in the works, even though it's old. Um, I'll continue to work with that, see if Desmume can connect to Desmume better um, over time, or I'll work with uh, another friend of mine. Two last things, I'm going to let you guys go. Number one, if you don't have Desmume to Desmume, and you have WEP, and you know how to set up WEP because you're a cool kid, and you don't mind easy to crack, easy to crack security, use WEP, and you should be able to set it up the same way, um, pretty much as the tutorial. Like I said, I'm not a master. Uh, my buddy... Uh, Ors Kid has been able to set it up through his uh, EverDrive. No, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Game Boy through his through his flash card. So uh, he can set up, and he's got a fourth and fifth gen Skype group set up as well. Um, and biggest biggest thing, check your paths, message me, and please please have a wired connection or an Ethernet connection disabling your wireless. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for your patience. Tutorial number four, Desmume, Wi-Fi, and peace out. Rate, comment, subscribe, peace out. Objection! Find the computer room, and I thought Anna was going to say peace, but, you know, I... Peace!